Hello, Internet. My name is Joe Bot. My name is Spooky. And the second or none, and we are back with You Don't Know Jack. I'm back to get my ass kicked. Woo! Uh, she wants revenge. She believes she can still win. I'm not crushing my, my partner's hopes and dreams by beating them, and you know, I swear that's not what I. Alright, let's see if go to. <laughs> I will get my revenge. Bonjour. They call me Donnie. Please to inform me of the number of players. Alrighty then. Let's start by getting your names. Player I guess I'll, I'll give you my name this time. Great nuts, player one. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I really? Really, you two, two year old? <laughs> yep. You're up, player two. Spoopy? You are beginning to aggravate me, player two. Type in your name. She's working on it. Hold your horses. Perfect. Pull it together, folks. Ten seconds. Best fishes. Let's check the bees. See, the problem is I'm stuck playing with this with my left hand, which I'm not the most dexterous with. Here. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and those toilet paper commercials with the cartoon bears terrify me. <laughs> I bet you two are going to find this game very challenging. Don't ask me how I know. There's some hardware for you two. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by Girly Drink Supply Warehouse. When a blue drink in a flamingo tumbler isn't enough, add some plastic <laughs> Put the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> Okie doke, this is really happening. Probably gonna miss it again. At least I know it's not gonna be craps. <laughs> right off the bat. Oh, brothers. If my grandmother is the great grandmother of the Jonas brothers, and the Jonas brothers are not my sons, which they aren't, how should I refer to them at family reunions? The Jonas first cousins once removed, the Jonas second cousins once removed, the Jonas second cousins, or the Jonas first cousins twice removed. Player one. By sharing the same grandparent with a generational gap between us, we would be first cousins once removed. To reiterate, I'm off to a great start. <laughs> actually related to the Jonas Brothers. That's what we do with this game. We make things up. Okay? Moving on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Moving on. Player two. You think genealogy is the study of that. venom, don't you? <laughs> and your score hurts. Thanks. <laughs> Next up, I've got Linguini on my boot. No, Italy is often referred to as being shaped like a big boot. If it's a thigh-high boot, where's Rome? Near the middle of the thigh, just below the knee, on the boot heel, or on the tip of the toes. Mm. Player one, you've been screwed. You, got you five shouldn't have made that noise. Enjoy your plate of fettuccine no. and failure. Nice screw work there, player two. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause it. Um. Oh, you coward. Player two. The city of Rome, located in the Lazio region of Italy, would put it slightly below the kneecap yes. if Italy were a thigh high. Where they took an arrow to. Yes, the Italians brought us some. I of thought the it was either middle of thigh or below the knee. Mario I knew it wasn't Luigi, near Italy. Chef like that. Oh, yeah. Um, Da Vinci codes. Really? And now, this, that, and the other question. Who is the eponymous character on Seinfeld? George, Jerry, Elaine, or Cosmo? Player one. The character Jerry's last name is Seinfeld, making him the eponymous character in the Damn show. It. Another word for this is titular. He's right. the titular character in the show. I don't know I why they... And bad. speaking of titular, oh. he's real <laughs> and he's spectacular. <laughs> Poor George. Player two? You're not yeah, even eponymous, to work eponymous. at Vandalay Industries. Oh, God. That's kind of terrible. You deserve that negative score. Oh, shush. Up next, Pick Bond, the fat people. Elmo Bond. What? It's a dis or dat. Oh, great. Oh, this is for you and I get the steal. Player two. Wonderful. Well, why don't you play this dis or dat and see if you can catch up. I'm going to read off seven names for each one. Tell me if it's a Bond girl from a James Bond movie. I have never seen a Bond movie. A Sesame Street I've seen like one. I've watched Sesame Street. Bond so. girl. 
Press 7. If she's from Sesame Street, press 8. Each one right gets you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh 300 dollars. Each one wrong costs you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, forget it. Player 1. Keep playing along with your one and two keys. You can steal some cash if you pick the right pop, pop, pop. answer before player two picks the wrong answer. And keep an eye on the clock. Answer quickly for more bonus cash. Alrighty then, here Should've it comes. Should've hit the space bar. Penelope Smallbone. Very good night. Strawberry Field. Prairie Dog. Sherry Nether. Betty Cadab. Christmas Jones. Christmas comes about once a year. Apparently somebody's watching the Bond films. Actually, I didn't watch the Bond film, that's just an internet joke. This dissertation has been brought to you by the letters OCT, but we are pretty close now. SSY, I'm gonna lose it all in the end. Who is the Bob girl? Rock my world girl. Ooh, yeah. Try this on for size. The night is young, Angus. You know that ACDC song you shook me all night long? Well, on what date in the Northern Hemisphere would shaking me all night long take the least time and energy? January 22nd, June 22nd, July 22nd, or September 22nd? Players one and two? Yep. Yeah, you shook me all night wrong. What? Where's that confounded right all answer? All night. The night is the we wanted the summer solstice, not the winter on the one. Solstice, Dang which it. falls right around June 22nd. We don't know Although what day that is. Age, if ACDC is still shaking all night long, it's probably due to some unfortunate disorder. <laughs> That's all we got for round one. And it looks like player I think he's two fishing has for gifts, folks. No, I'm not. Hair, you don't know where to send it. Don't forget, all the questions around two are worth double. Let's keep going. Oh, we missed the wrong answer of the, of the thing. Oh, damn it. How about... Don't worry about this little bus anymore. Growing up, I had a pet butterfly I called Benjamin. Unfortunately, like most things I've loved, it died after I accidentally sat on it. If Benji, Benjamin no. the butterfly pulled a Benjamin button, how would its stages of life go? Egg, caterpillar, pupa, butterfly? Butterfly, caterpillar, pupa, egg? Caterpillar, egg, butterfly, pupa, or butterfly, pupa, caterpillar, egg? Players one and two? You seem to be suffering from a curious case of idiocy. <laughs> oh, the oh, answer is... Benjamin Button lived his uh, life in reverse from old man to baby. We just and this one like, is the opposite of the usual which one's butterfly backwards? life cycle. Which one starts with butterfly? Oh, I'm starting to get a little tired. I saw people sit down caterpillar. for this next question. Oopsie! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he just sat on his cat. He deserved it. And on Not its the cat, way, him. He's a wild animal on the football field. Which NFL football team is not represented by a mammal? Chicago, Minnesota, Miami, or Arizona? Player one. Birds aren't mammals. So those Arizona Cardinals are cold-blooded. <laughs> Still not sure what the Browns are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Prepare to be mauled. Stop, Bears! Don't watch football. That's Except SNL. Stop, Bears, stop, Bears, stop, never mind. Try this on for size. Quizum. Quizum? What could that mean? Oh, no. Maybe it means I'm back. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Not we me. are for. Oh. We should spend some personal time together. Oh, we should go I see a die. musical play. A musical? I don't know. It would have to be a really good one. Which of these musicals is one of Toiletor tries for Jana? Fane, Nanania, South Pacific. Player one. I did Believe not want to hit that. South Pacific won a Pulitzer Prize in 1950. Fuck! Ah. Hey, Billy, I really hope you didn't say die, die, birdie. No, I said mama mia. Die, die, dirty? <laughs> say porgy and best. Torgy and Des. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Player two. Nana Nia, the play with all the music from Ada. You know, the damned Ada. Seriously? 
We love you, Conrad. I hate Bye Bye Birdie. Here's one for you. M&M's with a glass of milk. Ha! Okay, M&M's were first introduced in 1941. So, Say M&M remixes some of his songs to honor the only three M&M's colors that have been around constantly since 1941. Which song would not be part of the list? The Real Slim Yellow Shady, Lose Yourself in the Brown, My Name is Orange, or Without Me, Clear uh, One. What? Brown, yellow, and green have always been part of the M&M lineup. Orange was introduced later. You still got it right. Oh, I was trying to screw you. It ain't easy being the new color in town, especially when you My fingers are on the keyboard weird, so... Player two? Apparently you had guessed before me. Make you smarter. Or wait, was it smarter? I guess it's 50-50 from orange to green, because I knew brown and yellow were always there. Yeah. Yeah, see Here's what I like to call bit. time to class it up. I mean, N isn't oh, even a number. A kazoo. What the fuck are you doing to us, Fiddy Yo Game? What was I playing? Hungarian Rhapsody number two on kazoo. Rhapsody in blue on kazoo. Blue Danube on kazoo. Or Danube Brew on kazoo. I should have screwed you here. Player one. Yes, yes, that was me playing Blue Danube on kazoo. But no idea. Recognize the song, don't know the name. And now I'm going to play a I'm song. I'm going for a record negative amount. Um, oh god. We don't really have the money I'm for the partner. songs, but luckily I'm not very good at playing the kazoo. <laughs> Player two. <laughs> I could still make it up. Maybe. This is, this is for technically a possibility. When you see two clues that match, well, I think we know how to play. One. Okay. Oh, do you need to be somewhere? My mistake. <laughs> Here's your clue. Everything's going to be K. Name the K. 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 Good luck. K. I don't. What? What? Okay. Ah. Oh. No! Frick! Damn it! Going well? Ah! Oh, it's not good. Curios? Really? Damn it! I'm just too slow with this! JK. Oh. Oh, she's lost the wheel. It's not good. Oh, she got Yay, one. Hey, I got one. I'm not a loser. No. Really? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, it hurts. Player one's good. Well, I almost beat you from the negative standpoint. Oh, Player man. One, you are like some beautifully toned racehorse moving ever forward with one <laughs> ultimate goal in mind. Player two, you are the steaming pile that gets left behind. Oh. But don't feel bad, cuz. You don't know, Jack! I'm just a big steaming hey, pile. Donnie, what's going oh, on? Now, are you I need to stop playing this game. We'll you see if I beat you next time. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching Second to None. I, I, I sort of had fun. I think I had fun. But... I may have lost, but I had fun. Oh, I hope you guys had fun too.